guys, Maddie Tinkles here. Thank you so much for being here today. I hope you're happy to be here because I'm happy to be here as well. So today's video is the one. I have gotten hundreds of comments about, hey, Maddie, where's the iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing? Um, so here's what happened. So I have done an unboxing for every iPhone since like the, I don't know, this has been like the fifth or sixth one, I think. And what happened, the reason I didn't have it like the first day is it sold out so fast. I literally could not get it. So I finally got it. Uh, it's a little late, but we're still here. <laughs> All right. So uh, today we're going to be unboxing the brand new iPhone 13 Pro Max. You know, I had to do the big boy. Okay. Um, before I get into this, I just need to preface this. I always preface every iPhone video with if you are one of those Android users that go into iPhone videos and are like, oh, we have that Droid Live, all that stuff, genuinely do not care about any of that. And you need to let people enjoy things. Okay. So if someone likes the iPhone, they like the iPhone, they're not saying Droid sucks by getting an iPhone. Just like you by getting a droid is not saying, you see what I'm saying? So I just need to preface that because every iPhone video I put up, there's hundreds of people that come in that are like, oh, droid for live. I'm a droid guy. Great. Have a, have a blast with that. All right. Um, okay. Just had to preface. So uh, let's get into the iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing. I'm excited. Normally, uh, you know me, I'm an Apple sheep. So I, everything they put out, I'm getting, uh, definitely got to get the new MacBook too. Oh my gosh. Um, but this is the first time I've ever gotten a new phone where I actually needed it. Okay. So, uh, since like the nine or actually since like the seven, I've just gotten the new one every year. Right. And, but I never needed it. Like I always had a usable phone. Well, this is my current iPhone 12 Pro Max. Yeah, that's uh that's the 12 Pro Max right now. So uh still usable and I've been using it with a case, but not great. I mean that's that's a bad look. So it's the first time that I've actually needed a new phone. So this is very exciting. Um alright, so Let's get right into it. iPhone Pro Max uh, 13. So uh, just for 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 record here, um, I did get a new USB-C. I have like at least four of these, and I have no idea where they are. So I got another one, and I will explain why I had to get this in a second. All right. So all right. Let's stop wasting time. Let's get to the unboxing. Here we go. It's that time. The iPhone 13 Pro Max is here. We did it. I got it. I did it. Everything's here. A couple initial things uh, before I unbox it. So first of all, black box, which is awesome. You know, I love that. And then also very thin, very, very thin box. Okay, which is why I had to get that USB-C plug because it actually does not come with a wall adapter. It comes with the US it comes with the cord, but no wall adapter. Which, you know, again, that's Apple's game, right? They you get the thing, you gotta buy an accessory. It's been like that forever. So um but that that is why the box is uh so thin, is because there's not a wall adapter in it, so it's just the phone. I'm gonna get some stickers, the the booklets and everything, uh, and the cord. So it would have to be, you know, that thick, uh, like the the past ones have been, um, to to hold the the wall adapter. And just for reference, there, just to show you the difference, this is the 13 Pro, and this is the 10 box. So look, see that? That's the difference. Because this one came with the wall plug, right? This one does not, so you can see the difference there. Okay, very thin box. Very cool though, I like it, very sleek. All right, let's get to it. So 
this is the iPhone 13 Pro Max in Sierra Blue. Now, I struggled with this because as a, as a huge Apple fan, and by the way, I worked at Apple for two years, and I'm sure most of you guys know that already by now, but I've always got the silver, the black, or the matte black. I had a gold iPhone, like six or seven, um, but I always get the white or the black. And it's because my thought process always was like, I know from the research and, and everything I've read about Steve Jobs, he did not like the colored, anything colored. Like when those old iMacs came out and they were colored, he hated them. And so my thing was, like, as this snooty Apple guy, I was like, Steve Jobs would have never let them put out colored iPhones. He just wouldn't have. They would have been white or black. So I just got that. That's been a long time, and this is a new color, so I did it. And also, it's going to go in a case, because you saw uh, <laughs> the first one, so it's going to go in a case. So, like, does it really matter? Um, anyway, so this is in Sierra Blue, which is the new color. satisfying part here we go let's get these tabs off if, if I can get it up there we go here we go oh baby oh yeah that's nice let's do the other one here we go here we go over i'll see you next time <laughs> just kidding here we go oh my god here we go oh baby oh baby Inside the box, inside the box, we have the USB-C to lightning cable. Um, I'm hoping one day, one day, the iPhone will be USB-C. It would be so much better and faster. But for now, we have the USB-C, which is a, the fact that they moved to USB-C from USB is huge. But now we gotta get, we gotta get it to USB-C to USB-C. That'd be amazing. So then we got the, stuff in here so we got like I said we got the sticker and we have all of the packaging stuff and then we have the sim that's to open the side to put the sim cards in very minimal again I say this every year I am a package person I love packaging and Apple is still top tier above everyone with their packaging it's just so clean Perfect. Okay, let's get to the phone. Here we go. All right, so I'm going to give you some specs really quick before we unveil the phone and take all the all the plastic off that's really satisfying. So let's get some box sounds while we get into some specs. All right, so uh, here we go. This is the Sierra Blue. This retails for one thousand one hundred and ninety nine dollars. Uh, I got the two hundred fifty six gig um, version. Okay, my last one was two fifty six, and I'm only using like half of the f storage, so I didn't need anything bigger. Although uh, I think there's a five twelve and a one terabyte version, which like a terabyte on a phone is bananas. Like that's insane. 
say. Um, so this one is the 256, which is $1,199. So it has a ceramic shield front, uh, which is tougher than any smartphone glass, which like, you know, it's still going to break if you drop it at certain angles. But it is the toughest glass on a smartphone. So that's, I need that clearly, <laughs> right? Um, so it has a textured matte glass back, which is what I broke was the back of it. Um, and for it to be clean looking and nice, it has to be that glass. So it's fine. Again, it's going to go in a case. All right. So uh, the stainless steel on the outside, right? And you'll see that. Um, let's go ahead and open it up and show you. Let's see here. So that's the stainless steel part, right? So the height is the height is 6.33 inches tall. 3.7 inches across. 0.3 inches in depth. And it weighs about 8.46 ounces, which this does have some weight to it, which I actually like. Um, it feels like sturdy, you know, when it has some weight with it. So, um, so with the, uh, with the 12 and the 13, um, man, I actually think this may be a little heavier, just barely. Yeah, maybe, but I, I like a little weight, so that's, that's a good thing. I actually like that. All right, so, um, getting into the phone itself, um, it has a super retina. XDR display with ProMotion uh, and the touch experience is faster and more responsive which is I've heard that the screen on this is amazing um, it's 6.7 inches uh, diagonal and it's an OLED display which is amazing um, we were looking at 27 2778 by 1284 pixel resolution uh, as always splash water and dust resistant uh, up to six meters for up to 30 minutes so like it's not waterproof like you can't drop it in the ocean and it'll be fine but you could from the 30 minutes if that makes sense so if you're walking in the rain you'll be fine all right um so here's my favorite part is this has the new a15 bionic chip which is the fastest chip ever in in, in a smartphone so very excited about the new chip. I'm hearing great things in uh, with the benchmarks and all the tests on these phones. Very excited about that. All right. Um, so it has the biggest display ever on an iPhone with up to 25% higher max outdoor brightness at 1000 nits, which like, so basically it's saying that's, that's the nerdy term for saying that this phone is the brightest phone ever. Um, it has the highest nits on the display okay so amazing 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 all right some more specs for you i hope that you're uh that you can just kind of sit back and relax and listen to all these nerdy tech specs but um, this is the stuff i love right so um, we are looking at a five core gpu which is the fastest graphics performance in any smartphone and a six core CPU, which handles like, that's basically the, the tasks um, and multitasking and stuff. It'll be smooth and efficient. It has a 16 core neural engine, uh, which is capable of 15.8 trillion, trillion operations per second, which is like unbelievable. And also the refresh rate is up to 120 hertz, which is very good. So I've heard like even like scrolling on Twitter and stuff, even compared to the 12 Pro Max, um, it's a little snappier. So that's nice. Just little, little, little things, you know. Um, okay, so what most people get the new can get the new phone for is the camera, right? So we are looking at the biggest, the biggest pro camera system upgrade ever. thing right there all right so we're looking at a 12 megapixel camera system with telephoto wide uh ultra wide 
three times optical, optical zoom, two times optical, wow, I can't say that word, optical zoom out, and six times optical zoom range, uh, digital zoom up to 15 times, which is pretty crazy, so like if you're at uh, a basketball game, you could zoom in pretty far uh, onto the court, which is really cool, and it not being distorted, very nice. Okay, night mode on all cameras, which is awesome. Night mode, by the way, I don't know when it switched, maybe like the 11. Night mode is amazing. And, yeah, I, I love night mode, because before, with like the 7, pictures at night just look terrible. And so night mode is um, really, really nice. So, um, it has portrait lighting with six different effects. I don't think any of those have changed, to be honest. Um, macro photography, oh, baby the one macro photography with ultra wide camera features uh, which is just gonna make the image just brighter and sharper so I love love that um, we're looking at 2.2 times improved low light performance uh, compared to the 12 pro so I mean that's amazing like two times the performance with low light that's incredible actually <laughs> to be honest um, and by the way I'm keeping this on because we're tapping on it i'll take it off i promise that'll be the that's the, that'll be the big reveal all right um as a 77 meter telephoto zoom um so that's basically again just getting closer to the subject that you're shooting here's you know me this is what i'm most excited for out of this whole thing the video recording okay the cinematic mode for video recording uh videos uh, as a shallow depth of field transitions, macro video, time lapse, and slow mo. It has a Dolby Vision ProRes video. Like, oh my god. Like, you could, and people have done this already, but you could literally shoot a movie on this phone. Like, it, the fact that it has Dolby Vision to me is like, uh, that's a selling point for me. So that's incredible. And by the way, I get asked all the time from people, they're like, I want to start an ASMR channel, what camera should I use? I always tell them, just use your phone. I used my phone until like 130,000 subs, and, if, and especially if you have a newer phone, like this camera's video is going to be, it, it's competitive with a DSLR or a mirrorless camera, which is incredible, right? So yeah, I'm very excited about um, the video recording on there is just going to be better depth of field, which means basically like if you've seen photos, it'll be me and the background is blurred. That's depth of field. So it'll be shallow, which is really, really nice. All right. Um, so yeah, I'm very excited about the video, uh, video features on this phone. Just a few more specs for you. Uh, I hope this has been relaxing and then we will take all this stuff off and reveal the new phone. So excited. Um, all right, so it has digital zoom up to nine times on the video, which is amazing. So battery, I have watched some uh, videos on this phone. Uh, my favorite tech, obviously, Marquise. Um, Marquise and uh, Sarah DG are my two favorite. Shout out to both of them. I love your guys' videos. Um, they both said that the battery on this is amazing. So that's really cool that they they continue to make the battery better. So you're going to get 28 hours of continued video playback, meaning you can watch video on here constantly for 28 hours on this battery, which is amazing. Video playback streaming, so you can watch 25 hours of Netflix straight on one charge, which is nice. Audio playback up to 95 hours, so Spotify for 95 hours if you really wanted to, so that's nice. Um, and then FaceTime now has portrait mode, which is amazing. So, you know, if you're like this and you're FaceTiming someone, you can do portrait mode now on, on the front camera, which is amazing. And that's, and by the way, someone count how many times I've said amazing and put it in the comments. It's over 100, I bet. Uh, but now you can have that depth of field that you get with portrait mode on FaceTime, which is awesome. Amazing. Apple Maps has a new three-dimensional city driving experience on this, which is really cool. Um, and then walking, uh, 
uh, directions is in is augmented reality. So like if I'm in Toronto and I don't know my way around and I'm downtown and I put a uh, I put a, an address in to walk to, it'll be augmented reality on the phone, which is um, I mean um, that that is actually amazing. That's oh, the word I should use because for Apple Maps to be that advanced with augmented reality is incredible. So I cannot wait to use that. Um, is, other than that, weather is redesigned for full screen maps, which is awesome. Best battery life ever in an iPhone, up to 50% charge in 30 minutes, which is great. Um, and then battery will last up to two and a half hours longer in a day than the iPhone Pro Max 12. So basically they're saying, this will last two and a half hours longer. This will last two and a half hours longer than this, which is awesome. So that's a big thing for me too. Um, and then obviously iOS 15 uh, is the most personal and secure mobile operating system ever. So um, you know me, I, I, as soon as an update comes, I'm on it. And I've actually had some beta uh, access to, to get them early. Uh, when I worked at Apple, because we're technically like developers, because um, they want early feedback, so that's awesome. And then, again, the main thing that's new with this is you can have storage up to one terabyte, which is craziness. That's I don't. I mean, unless you're shooting video on this every day, that's the only reason I could see getting a terabyte. Like that's craziness. Um, so anyway, iPhone 13 Pro Max. Ready? Here we go. Oh, yes. I mean, that's literally worth the price of the phone. Just that. Okay, this is actually super clean. So it's hard to tell. There we go. You can see the blue there. And the sides. Oh, baby. This is amazing. And I'm actually not going to use this yet. I'm, tomorrow, I'm going to go get a case for it and a screen protector. Because, again, you saw what happened here. And I'm going to try to not do that again. <laughs> so uh, I'll set it up and everything. But I'm not going to use it till it's until it's in a case, but I just need this to be USB-C, and that would be incredible. Okay, here we go. Normally, they come with, what, like 30% battery or so in the box, so let's see if we can. Here we go. Oh, there it is. Love it. Absolutely love it. All right, so obviously, so we're just at the setup here now. It's saying hello in a bunch of different languages. Um, and so I don't need to show you all that. But there it is, everybody. That is the iPhone 13 Pro Max unboxing from Maddie Tingles. You guys asked for it. Let's be real. You guys knew it would happen. <laughs> uh, but you just didn't know when because, again, it sold out in like a second. So um, anyway... There it is, the iPhone Pro Max, iPhone 13, sorry, Pro Max, official Maddie Tingles unboxing. There it is, designed in Apple, in California, of course, assembled in China. And I'm not going to tell you my uh, IMEI number, because that would be bad, but um, there it is. Let's see if we can get a cool shot with the light here, look at this.
guys so much for watching. I will see you guys next time.